Hey guys, welcome back. So today we have a topic which many of us can relate to that is how to ask for approvals via emails and send payment links automatically. So guys, if you are someone who needs to send payment requests via email for your products or services, then today we have got you covered. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step process of setting up an automation workflow, which is going to watch for approval emails from your inbox. And as you're going to get the approval, the payment link will be delivered to that per person automatically via Gmail. And guys, we can set up this automation without any coding super simply. So let's begin. To set up the workflow, we are using an integration and automation tool known as Pabli Connect. And this is the landing page of Pabli Connect. I'm going to paste the link of this page in the description so that you can sign up for free from here and you will get free automation tasks every month. So sign up right now from the given link and after that sign in and select Pabli Connect product to reach the dashboard. From here, click on this create workflow button and here you can provide a suitable name to your workflow. So let me give a name here. So I have given this name. Okay, now I'm clicking on create button and you will see the workflow page loading up. Okay, and here you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So with the help of these two things, we can set up any automation workflow. So guys, trigger is that event which is going to start the workflow and the action would be an automated consequence or the response of the trigger. In this use case, guys, we uh, we are getting a approval reply to a approval request that we have sent already and as and when i'm going to get that reply the workflow should trigger and update my spreadsheet in which i have added some details related to that customer and after that a email with the payment link should be delivered to that same customer automatically so guys, let me first tell you uh, about the background of this use case. What already we have done, we have sent a form to our customer and we have received this response in which we got the name of the customer, email address, quantity. Okay. And uh, as the form gets submitted, we have sent a, uh, a, a request email of the payment to the customer. Okay. Now after that, as the customer is going to reply to that email, then we want the workflow to trigger. So to watch for the approval emails, we are going to use email parser feature of Pabli Connect. So with the help of email parser, you can get the emails from your inbox forwarded to this parser address and it will be captured here in the response section. Okay. Now to use this parser, you need to reach your Google account or any uh, email provider account first. So this is my Google account. And from this account, I have sent an email to my customer for uh, the approval of the payment request. Okay. From here, guys, click on the settings icon on the top right. Here, click on see, see all settings option. Under the settings page, click on forwarding and pop slash IMAP option. Here, you will find this add a forwarding address button. Click on it. And here it is asking to enter a forwarding email address. Here you have to paste this email parser address. Just copy it and paste it here like this. Okay. Now here you can see guys, it's as we have copied this, it started waiting for the email parser's response. Okay. So now when you click on next here, it will bring you to this window and it will ask you to proceed. So when you click on proceed button, a sample email with a code confirmation code will be sent to the email parser's address you can see a confirmation code has been sent to this to verify the permission so you can click on ok here and here you have to fill that code so let us see how we have received the email here you can see guys this is how the sample email will be received and in this sample email when you scroll down you will find the body text label in this body text label, you will find the confirmation code like this. So you just have to copy this code and you have to paste the code here under the confirmation code field, then click on verify. All right. So this, uh, this parser address is verified here. Now you have to check this button, forward a copy of incoming emails to this address, and then you have to scroll down and click on save changes. Okay. So now I have added the forwarder here inside the inbox. Okay. 
ओके एंड नाउ गाइज वॉट वी वॉन्ट सो गाइज आई हैव सेंड अ ई मेल ऑलरेडी टू अप्रूवल ई मेल ऑलरेडी टू वन ऑफ माई डिफरेंट अकाउंट ओके नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू क्लिक ऑन दिस रिकेप्चर पार्सल रिस्पॉन्स बटन देन क्लिक ऑन येस एंड इट विल स्टार्ट शोइंग वेटिंग फॉर द रिस्पॉन्स अगेन नाउ वट आई एम गोइंग टू डू आई एम गोइंग टू मैनुअली रिप्लाई टू दैट अप्रूवल ई मेल बाय माई सेल्फ ओनली जस्ट टू सेट अप दिस ऑटोमेशन ओके so uh, let me show you the email that i have already sent this was the email i, I have sent from this address in which i have added the forwarder okay so uh, the subject was form submitted now it's time for payment okay and here you can see dear devin please reply in yes or no if you want to complete the payment so in the reply i'm just going to type yes okay this is the condition that you just have to reply in yes or no to send to to Uh, approve it okay simple process so i am uh, sending yes here okay so i have sent yes now let's check in our workflow and in our email that if we have received the reply or approval so here you can see guys we have received the approval from my customer here you can see we have received yes let's check in our workflow if we got the same captured in the response section and here you can see guys we got the response and here we have received uh, the response from this person okay this was our customer this is the subject of the email and when you scroll down here you will find the body text label and in the same body text label you will receive the data of the reply you can see yes on thursday june 1 2023 at this time okay guys now uh, as you are going to receive the approval you want to uh, update your spreadsheet and send a payment link but guys you are not getting the incoming emails from only your only your customers you are getting many emails on your inbox from many places but we do not want to trigger this workflow for every email that you are getting we want to trigger the workflow for some specific approval replies only okay so to ensure that i am going to use filter feature of pabli connect here in the action step you will find this filter which is going to filter out the emails according to you according to the conditions that you are going to apply here okay so here use filter then it will ask to select the label select the filter time and put a value with the help of this you can apply some conditions and the conditions are that the body text label should have this yes word included and the subject of the uh, email would be this it's a reply subject and the subject is form submitted it's time for payment these two conditions should be fulfilled to forward uh, to get this automation running okay now to apply these conditions it is asking to select the label so you just have to click here and the previous step will appear here in the drop down and when you click on it you will find all the data right here so from here only you can just select the subject like this then select the filter type equals to and paste the subject's value here in this value field what is the subject's value let me show you this is the subject's value just copy this and paste it here like this okay this is the one condition second condition is just click here on this plus icon to add an and logic condition and logic condition means both of these conditions should be fulfilled so click here to add an and logic condition and the uh, condition now is that this body text label should have this yes word but uh, along with yes word we have uh, many other things as well so i'm going to uh, retrieve this yes word from the body text label for that to happen just click here guys on this plus icon and another action step will open up after trigger and here we are, we are going to use text formatter feature of public connect search text formatter then select the action event here as split text okay then click on connect button and here it is asking which text you want to split what is the separator and what was it what is the segments index so guys uh, the text i want to split is here i want to uh, split out this yes word from this text for that to happen you just have to map the label first here from the previous step search for body text label map it 
and the separator would be this space in between uh, uh, yes and other words okay so to put space as the separator you can just copy this format written here in the help text and paste it here and the segment index would be first because yes is the first part of the index okay so select first option then click on save and send test request button and here you can see in the result table we got the yes word split it out okay okay so i have selected filter again in the th third step okay from this first uh, step map the subject label put the subject here so guys in the second end logic condition you just have to select uh, the label as from the second step actually from the text formatter step map the result label and make it equals to yes word okay so it is going to ensure that when these two conditions are going to be met meeting true then only the workflow will continue click on save and send test request and here you will see that the condition is true in this case now when this condition matches true i want to update my spreadsheet first here i want to update the reply that we have received and also i am going to uh, uh to to get this reply field here automatically we need to have the num, uh, the number of row in which we have this data okay so for that for getting the row number what i'm going to do first of all i'm going to click her, here on the plus icon and here i'm going to connect with google sheets and here guys i am going to use the action event as look up spreadsheet rows so with the help of look up spreadsheet rows i am going to search for the person who uh, whose data we have already have here in this uh, first row the only thing we are the, the only reason we are doing this is to get this row index or the, the number of row uh, here in which we have the data so that's not a uh, big thing just click on connect button you can use your already existing connections by select existing option and click on save and you will be connected with google sheets again all right then it will ask to select your spreadsheet so select this sheet name customer feedback form responses okay all right then it will ask for the sheet name select the sheet name okay then it will ask for the lookup column so guys i want to search for the email address that we had here of the customer and we have the emails in the c column so i am going to put the column name as capital c okay look up value i am going to map the email address from the first step of the person who have replied us okay okay now you can click on save and send test request button and here you can see guys we have received the response and here we have received the data of our customer along with the row index and here you can see the row number is 2 right now you can copy paste this same step because we need to connect with google sheets again so click on copy step and then click on paste step so another action step will appear here with the same google sheets now we need to change the action event here and the action event would be update cell value okay select update cell value click on connect use your save connections click on save and you will be connected again then you have to select the spreadsheet again and the sheet name and here it is asking for the range now guys for this field only i have added this previous step okay now to get this range updated automatically with every execution of the workflow we need to put the range here in a dynamic form so here you can see the uh, the range in which we want the updation is this one here is the cell we have right now and you can see in the name box it is showing e2 this means the cell is present at column e row number 2 so now i am going to put capital e here manually and the row index i am going to map from the last step so it will become the dynamic range so when I, when you map the labels here the labels update automatically with every execution of the workflow and the row will be the row index will be updated and right cell will be updated every time okay and the thing we want to update here as the reply that we get and we have uh, splitted out the reply here in the second step and here is the reply just map this second steps result label in the value now you can check your connection with spreadsheet by clicking on save and send test request button and the data will be 
appear uh, will be filled here let me show you i am clicking on save and send test request button this is the response we have received let's check the spreadsheet and here you can see the cell is updated okay now guys it's time to send the payment link to the customer for that just click here on this plus icon and from the section step search for gmail okay select the action event as send email click on connect button from here select you can select new connection or existing connection i'm going to use my existing google connections and click on save and i'll be connected with the same gmail account by which i want to send the email okay here you can uh, it is asking for the recipient's email address that you can be mapped from the first step here you can see the from address label just map the from address label where you are get from where you have received the reply or the approval okay now in the sender name you can fill your name in the email subject uh, you can write so guys i have written this email you can change the format of the email if you want here it is i am writing dear and after dear if you want to map your customer's name you can map it like this from the first step so it will be automatically updated every time an email will be delivered okay and here is the link i have attached of my payment link which was stripe payment gateway you can attach any other link as well and now you can check your connection by clicking on save and send test request button and uh, and this email will be delivered here on in our customers account let me show you i'm clicking on save and send test request button this is the response i got let's check in the account and here you can see i have received a new email with the with the subject as payment request approved please complete the payment and here is the same uh, message okay that i have written here is received you can see the same message is here so this is how it is going to work so we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once after that it is going to work automatically whenever uh, your form are, forms are going to be submitted or uh, that is going to trigger whenever you are going to get the request approved of your payments and i'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description so that you can clone this workflow in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.